One level three power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hello, everyone. I'm Kristen Cho, and I'm Cameron Word. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, yes, we yes. love to have you all the time. Always, mm-hmm. always. You know, it's interesting. We're almost finishing up our month soon. Yeah, we are. I mean, how time flies. <sighs> When you're, especially when you're having fun with oh, Cameron yeah. and Kristen. It's true. <laughs> Our show is 20 minutes long. It's too short. It doesn't feel like 20 minutes to me ever. It feels like always five minutes. <laughs> it really, really it does. Really, uh-huh. we genuinely feel that. Too much laughing. Too much laughing. But a lot of English learning as okay. well. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, our topic today is switching from glasses to contacts. So all month we've been talking about getting contacts. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never had contacts. Yes. I went from just no glasses to reading glasses, mm. but I still don't have contacts. Yeah, I did everything. I, I did no nothing mm-hmm. to glasses to contacts to you, LASIK. Maybe I should get LASIK for, but I guess not because my normal vision is fine. If you're normal, I I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. It may not be worth it. Yeah, Yeah. right, right, Mm. right. Okay, I don't feel self-conscious. Now, I really like to talk about this word self-conscious. Yes. Which is a word that native speakers really use a lot. Yes. Okay. Now, self hyphen C O N. S C I O U S mm-hmm. conscious. Okay. Yes. Now, what does this mean? So, this has kind of two meanings, but one is one we use in everyday life. Uh-huh. So, self conscious originally meant to know about yourself. Right. So, like some animals, mm-hmm. they can look in a mirror mm-hmm. and they can know that the reflection in the mirror is it's them. them. Right? right? So that is kind of the original meaning of self-conscious. Mm-hmm. Now, though, we use it mostly to mean we're, we're thinking of ourselves and how other people are looking at us. Mm-hmm. And you're feeling uncomfortable right. that you look weird or that you're just very insecure mm-hmm. with yourself. It's almost like you are, it's a unhealthy, unhealthy mm-hmm. Awareness. Yeah. Like, you don't need to be so hyper aware, Mm -hmm. but you have insecurities. Yeah. And so you are very self conscious. So, if you're overweight or maybe you're kind of balding, Mm. you know, things of that nature. Right. And it doesn't even have to be that you are balding, that you are, but you think Think you are. And everybody is looking. Everybody's looking at me. Right. That is being Mm self-conscious. All right. So let's look at some other expressions that we're going to cover. See someone in a different light. It means that you are looking at them differently. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about Mm -hmm. them differently. Okay. All right. And how about it's worth noting, N-O-T-I-N-G. It's important to consider this. Okay. This might be important information. All right. Very good. Let's go ahead and listen to our dialogue. Marta, is that you? I don't recognize you without your glasses. Don't be silly, Dominic. I'm not. You look great. I think everyone who knows you will see you in a different light. Well, it's worth noting that I also got my hair cut. So maybe that's what you noticed. The important thing is how you feel with them. Do you like wearing contacts? I don't feel self-conscious anymore. I think that's the best part of not having to wear glasses all the time. Okay, let's take a look. Dominic says, Marta, is that you? I don't recognize you without your glasses. Mm. It is true that people, when you're used to someone with glasses and they don't have glasses on, they really do look different. Oh, yeah. I Some people... Totally different. Like, who's that actress? Who? Zoe Deschanel? Yes. When she has glasses on uh-huh. and doesn't have glasses on... Yes. I can... I... Not the same person. Well, <laughs> not the same person. I've had people, and like I'm so used to it, and then they take off their glasses, and their eyes are like completely different. Yeah, yeah. So it makes them like look like a different person. Well, some people have really thick glasses. 
Is it? We have those. We call them mole glasses, right? Uh huh. 두더지안경 No, uh, but yeah, it can change the shape and size of your eye. Uh, totally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, if you don't recognize, which is our power vocabulary word, mm. R E C O G N I Z E, to recognize something. What yes. does this mean? To recognize. This has two meanings in English. Here we're talking about ara boningo, like、mm-hmm. so, like seeing someone and knowing、oh, who they yeah, are. Oh yeah, that's Cameron. Yeah. yeah.、Mm-hmm. Recognize also has. The definition of like injong hada injong or pata to、yes. be recognized, to be recognized, kind、yeah. of like to be known for、mm-hmm. something、mm-hmm. or to receive an award for something. Right. Yeah. In this case, it's just like araboda,、mm. araboji muteta. Yeah. Right. I、mm-hmm. don't recognize you. Right. Yes. With your glasses, and Marta says something interesting. Don't be silly, yeah. Dominic.、Mm. Now this is our power pattern. Don't be silly. Yes. Now was Dominic trying to be funny? Was he acting silly? Possibly. Okay. We, I mean, we don't know how、uh, serious Dominic was in his first sentence, but、uh, Marta here saying, "Don't be silly."、Mm-hmm. We've talked about this before、mm-hmm. on the show. Silly is a great way to. Lightly say stupid, <laughs> right? Right, 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 right. So <laughs> it's like saying "don't be stupid,"、uh-huh. but that's very strong in English. I know. So she says, "Don't be silly," or like, "Oh, quit playing around." Right. Don't, don't joke. joke. Around. Yeah, yeah. Don't joke. Right. So it can be one of two things. It could be like, "Oh, stop joking around,"、mm-hmm. or it could be like. Stop being stupid. Yeah, <laughs>、right. but the saying "silly"、yeah. is very light.、Uh-huh. Marta is not trying to say that Dominic、yeah. is dumb, dumb. or、That's、whatever.、Right. Yeah, I mean, and it is used. This expression is really used with friends and、mm-hmm. people that you know. Yeah, right. Okay. So, what does Dominic say? I'm not. You look great. I think everyone who knows you will see you in a different light. Okay.、Mm. Now, here is our first expression of the day: see someone in a different light. Yes. What does this mean? So, this means that you are seeing someone. Differently,、mm-hmm. and you are thinking about them differently. Oh, so here specifically, Dominic is saying you look so different.、Mm-hmm. People are going to think differently about you. Oh, yeah. You know, in movies,、uh-huh. when like the nerdy girl becomes like, well, Greece. Yeah. Or yeah, Greece.、Uh. Or Lee Hyori in. Girl, girl, you go, girl. She's like a nerd,、uh, and she's go, and then go, she go, takes go. her she takes her glasses yeah, off, yeah, and then、yeah. she's sexy, right, and then everybody、right. wants to be、right. with her.、Uh-huh. Yeah, that's basically what they're saying.、Uh-huh. Uh, they will see her in a different light. Right. Think about her differently. That's right.、Mm. So it's kind of like、uh, usually, like people. I think it usually not always,、uh-huh. but it's kind of like oh, they were kind of nerdy looking. They were kind of countryish looking,、yeah. and then all of a sudden they turned into this sort of kind of sophisticated person、yes. or had a different image. And it's not always about looks. Oh, sometimes you find a new piece of information about the person.、Uh, maybe or, their intelligence. Yeah, their intelligence,、uh-huh. or maybe there was a fight. Because of misunderstanding,、oh. and you realize, oh, that's why they did that.、Oh. They weren't being a bad person.、Oh. They were actually trying to help me. Or it could be like, oh, I thought they were nice, but they're not nice. They're not <gasps> nice. Okay, to see someone in a different light. Okay, Marta says, well, it's worth noting that I also got my hair cut, so maybe that's what you noticed.、Mm. Okay, it's worth noting. What、yes. does this mean? It's worth noting is a great phrase to use when you want to say this might be important information.、Mm-hmm. This might be relevant to、mm-hmm. or like important to what we're talking about. So she's saying, I mean, yeah, I got glasses, but I changed my hair too.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that's what they say you do. Like any time you、yeah. change something on your face, yeah, it's your hair. Change your hair too. Change your hair too. Like if you get glasses,、oh. or if you get like. Nose surgery. Oh, <laughs> they say change your hair too,、oh. so that everything changes. Wow, and you can、Good、say that that's、know. the reason. Yeah. All right. So 
Then what does Dominique say? The important thing is how you feel with them. Do you like wearing contacts? I don't feel self-conscious anymore. I think that's the best part of not having to wear glasses all、mm. the time. So she used to feel self-conscious, and now she doesn't. Yes. So what is she saying? So self-conscious means that you are insecure.、Mm-hmm. You are not confident about yourself. Not confident. So、yeah. she didn't like wearing her glasses.、Mm-hmm. Now she has more confidence. Without her glasses, right? Yeah, that's right. So you know, sometimes you you may feel like glasses make you look a little stuffy, a、uh, little bit too academic,、mm. or kind of nerdy. It can also be the opposite, though. Oh, I know a lot of people that look better in glasses because they look smarter. I, that or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be any reasons.、Right. But depending on the face, sometimes、yeah. glasses is better, sometimes not. Okay,、mm. let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. Marta, is that you? I don't recognize you without your glasses. Don't be silly, Dominic. I'm not. You look great. I think everyone who knows you will see you in a different light. Well, it's worth noting that I also got my hair cut, so maybe that's what you noticed. The important thing is how you feel with them. Do you like wearing contacts? I don't feel self-conscious anymore. I think that's the best part of not having to wear glasses all the time. Please join us on pages one thirty six and thirty seven. It's time for Power Note. To see someone in a different light means to look at someone in a new way,、yes. in a different way.、Mm-hmm. Most people don't like George because he's such a tough boss. You'll see him in a different light if you volunteer with him at the animal shelter. Uh huh.、Mm. So it's kind of like you saw one person in a certain environment. Yes. Then you saw the same person in another environment, and it shows a different side of their personality. Yes. Or you get to see their personality,、mm-hmm. and you see them in a different light. That's right. After he saved me from the mugger, I began to see Sam in a different light. Ah, you didn't think of Sam as that manly and yeah <laughs> protective, right? But hey, if he saved you from a mugger, like that's impressive. Yeah, and maybe it's like, wow, he's a real man. Yeah, <laughs> a mugger, of course,、uh, it's very similar to like a burglar, right? Someone who a steals,、mm-hmm. yeah, a robber,、mm-hmm. someone who steals. But the the feeling is is that they have a weapon、mm. and they might hurt you、mm-hmm. to get the money or the watch or the wallet that they're trying to get from you. Right. So if he saves you from that, that's、mm-hmm. a really <laughs> That's a really big deal. Very much so. Yeah. So anyone you have a certain image of someone in、yeah. a certain way. Oh,、mm. he seems very academic. Yeah. You know, like very studious, and that's all he does.、Mm. But then you saw him skiing. You know, like、yeah. down this like. Um, the Alps, right?、Yeah. He's like really athletic, and you just saw him in a different light. Yeah, right. Or what is the, the novel、oh. Pride and Prejudice? Oh yes. Well, who is it, Mister Bingsley? Yes. She doesn't like him at the beginning. Right. She thinks he's really mean, but then he does something good for the family. He's like a gentleman. He's like, oh, oh, he's really a gentleman, and I just misunderstood his right. intentions. That's right. That kind of stuff. That thing. Yeah. Okay.、Mm. All right. It's worth noting means it's important to consider. So, oh, I want to highlight this point, and it's important. Yes. The play was amazing. The lead actress is very talented. It's worth noting that tonight's actress was a stand-in. And not the usual lead. Oh, very important point. Yeah. What is the point? What is a stand-in and usual lead? So the lead actress is the person who normally does the role. Right. But the stand-in is the the person underneath、mm-hmm. who will do the part if the lead actress is busy or, or sick, sick or、mm-hmm. something happens. Right.、Uh, so the fact that. The stand-in was so impressive. Yeah, talented. Talented.、Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's something good to know. Yeah, so that's why, like, one person says, "Wow, it was amazing," and the second person says, "Oh, did you know? Yeah,、and、this is important. She's not the usual lead.、Mm-hmm. She's actually kind of the stand-in." Yes. Right.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would want to know. 
It's worth noting that the quarterbacks on the opposing teams are actually brothers. Oh, okay. So, wow. for anyone who doesn't know American football, yeah. the quarterback is kind of the, I don't want to say the most important person on the team, but, but kind of the important. leader. Yeah. And is uh, like always has the ball, throwing it, running it. Yeah, he's the one who takes that first ball, like, mm. and then like he throws that. Ball, yeah. Right. Well, he's usually the, the the highest paid person on the team. Okay. But anyway, if two teams are going at it, yeah. Two teams are playing each other, right? And both quarterbacks uh -huh. are brothers, right? That's something you want to know, right? To watch the game. Yeah, that's right. That makes it so much more interesting. It's a juicy is, detail. Yeah, it's a great detail. Uh -huh. So that's why we use the phrase. It's worth noting. Yes. Right. It'd be good to know this. Yeah, you should know this, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay? Because it makes it more interesting. Yes. Okay. Now, if you're self-conscious, it means that you're too aware of your appearance or your actions. Yeah. Okay? Mm. And there is a lack of confidence involved yeah. in you being self-conscious. Right. Don't say anything about Grant's scar. I won't. I heard he's very self-conscious of it. Okay. Yeah, if you have a scar, like, on your face or something. Right. You maybe don't feel mm -hmm. confident, so you don't want people to talk about it. Right, mm. right. Uh, the king was self-conscious of his stutter until he learned to overcome it. A stutter is a... St <laughs> st <laughs> king stutter. George. Yeah, King George mm -hmm. of England yeah. way back then. Yeah. And there's a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the king's speech. Yeah, the king's right. speech. That's right. So self-conscious, mm -hmm. let's say I'm self-conscious in the gym. You are. I don't have a Why? good I don't have a good body. A so You're I, totally You I go around there's like all these like in these like very great bodied people oh. around me. No. And I can barely bench press Cameron, the bar. Listen, everybody is self-conscious when they go to the gym. Not, oh, no. no. You see those people with their cell phones <laughs> and they're like taking pictures of themselves All in the right. mirror? All right. That is not me. Okay. I'm very self-conscious in the gym. All right. Uh, our power pattern is don't be silly, mm. which means come on, you know, stop joking around or don't be dumb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a playful way. Yeah. Don't be silly. We have enough food for everyone. Yeah. Don't be silly, Ted. I love having you as a guest. Mm hmm Mm. Okay. Yeah, don't joke around. Yeah. Hey, don't be silly. Don't be so serious. Yeah. Recognize is our power vocab on page 138. Do check out the definition and let's thank our sponsor. Thank you so much.